Well, I'm going to start fitting the, the doors to the frame. And what I've done here is I put a clamp in here to hold these two together. What I'm really concerned about when I, when I fit this together is that the bottoms of these rails and the tops match perfect and there's a perfect seam line going all the way across. So when I trim these down, I want to make sure I'm always maintaining that relative point. So I've already done some hand planing on top to flush these up a little bit. Of course, they're a little bit off. So I've got about an eighth of an inch to play with. So what I want to do is I want to find the lowest point on any of these using my square. Go to that point. Take a marking knife. Cut a line. And what I will do is I'll trim these down to that line, the tops anyways. Now that I've got the tops cut nice and square and I know that top style is even or the top rail is even, I put a piece of wood on the bottom here since there's nothing supporting the drawers in the, the doors in the middle and that's going to help me when I, when I shift this out. So, what I need to do is I need to put these doors in here. And I've got my 32nd of an inch shims, which I cut before. I'm just going to push those in, put those in front, put them together. Now you can see this one panel already dropped down inside. Um, there is a little bit of a gap. I know it's very hard to see on camera. There's a little bit of a gap right here in one of these corners when I was doing the hand plane. I got a little over aggressive with the hand plane. And that's almost perfect right there. So that's my low point. Uh, what I need to do is clamp these back up together. Again, making sure the bottom rails are, are even with each other and mark right where that low point is and then cut the bottom of these panels to that measurement. After a few cuts on my table saw, the cross cut sled, a few shims here and there on that cross cut sled. What I've got is a nice 30 seconds of an inch reveal on both the top and bottom. I know it's, it's hard to see on camera. The gap I'm going to go for in the middle is a sixteenth of an inch. I decided on a sixteenth of an inch because I wanted to make sure I had enough clearance for the doors when they swing. So. I'm going to use two of these shims, put those in there. I've got a little bit extra on this side right here while I'm nice and flush on this side. And uh, that's a good thing. What I'll do is I'll, I'll start working on installing the knife hinges on the doors. And once those are installed, it's going to be a painstaking process, but once those are installed, I'll go through and I'll start trimming the insides of these styles with a hand plane to get them nice and perfectly square to one another and get that perfect 16th inch gap. Well, I need to start marking where the knife, knife hinges are going to go. I'm going to start in this corner right here. First thing I need to do is I need to shim this side up, that 32nd of an inch. Make sure all that's nice and flush. Then I'm just going to use my marking knife and I'm going to take the flat of it and push it against the bottom and then mark where that knife hinge is going to go. And I'll do this all the way around on all four corners. Well now I need to far figure out how deep I need to go with those mortises for the knife hinges. In other words, how far back into the door frame. Uh, I've put one of the leaf hinges into the panel right here. And again, each one of these was cut by hand, so I don't have any jigs or anything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my square and I'm going to come up to the edge of that leaf. 
and then mark a line, then taking my panel, dropping it in, and positioning it against the side of the cabinet, flush, I just need to transfer that mark to the door. Then I'll strike it down the side and that's where I'll cut the mortise in the end. I've got the mortises all marked out for the knife hinges on the top of the doors. I'm going to do the same thing I did last time which is freehand out the waist with the router. Um, I've got a backer board here so this is a little bit more stable. Um, and I'm going to continue to work it with the chisel because this piece here is very thin. With this piece on there, actually I'll probably clamp that up a little bit tighter so I don't break that off. But uh, this should be a fairly straightforward process. That's the fit I'm looking for. I'm going to do a test fit of these doors and I need to put these uh, hinges in here. Now one thing I should mention, I have put these in here, I've also pre-drilled them. I've also pre-cut them with the steel screw, uh, which is very important. Uh, you never want to use a power driver for these. The brass screws are, are very, very delicate. Um, I always use wax, put a little wax on there and uh, drive it home. The secret to this really is when you feel that there's given a little bit of resistance on there, you need to back off because if you snap one of these screws in here this late in the game, um, it's not good. You're not going to be having a good day after that. Trust me, I know this for a fact. So these should just go right in. I said they've been pre-cut, there's no resistance at all. And more. It's nice and flush. And I'll do the, the four on the cabinet, and then I've got to put the doors on, and I'll show you the trick to doing that. Well, after I've got the part of the hinge that goes in the cabinet installed, I'm just going to loosely put these on, and these just fit over a little barrel that's on the hinges and I just need to align the mortises and just slide those on and then install the screws. I'm just going to put one on each side for now. Well here's the door stripe fit on the cabinet and uh, Actually, I got pretty lucky. There's a very nice, even 16th inch reveal going along the bottom and the top. And I've got that 16th of an inch I was looking for between the two doors. Uh, I probably spent about three hours all set and done hanging the doors and fitting them on, on the cabinet. Just like anything else, you have to take your time, um, do it as an organized approach and uh, you'll get results like this. So what I need to do now is I'm going to do some sanding on these panels. These, these doors have not been sanded yet, the frames anyways. And then I'll go into the finishing process.